What's going on, guys? It's Kyle here. Um, what I wanted to say uh, was one thing. Was, uh, um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed my little prank video on the I'm done with wrestling. I'm going to watch more UFC uh, video. Um, yeah, so uh, hope you guys uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, um, pretty excited that you guys believe that you took a hook, line, and center. But um, yeah, it's just a funny joke there. Uh, one of my subscribers suggested like, "Oh, this is a good day. It's like we should have saved it for April's Fool." But the more I thought about it, I'm like, "Yeah, I should have. This would have been a good prank for on like April Fools." But the more I think about it, it would been kind of to me the way I think about it, like it would have kind of been predictable if I'd done that video on April Fools. Because they'd be like, wait a minute, you guys are playing. Like, you, you know, I, I don't know, I just think it would have been predictable if I did this video on April Fool's. Um, but who knows, it might be something else. Um, but anyway, uh, what I want to talk about in this video is the return of Under the Microscope um, uh, uh, video, um, or video series. Um, I haven't done, the last one I had done, I think it was on Kevin Stain, maybe. But it's been at least, you know, like a good month since I've done another uh, video under the microscope. And under the microscope is a video series um, of where I give my in-depth discussions and thoughts and look at uh, wrestlers of today from Ring of Honor, TNA, WWE, and also just out in the indie scene and the other uh, independent um, wrestling scene. So um, what I'm going to talk about uh, in this video is going to be uh, <coughs> Drew McIntyre. Um... The chosen one. So, um, Drew McIntyre. Um, so I start with this cat. Um, the first time I saw Drew McIntyre was actually back in 2006. Um, a little bit before then. 2005 or 6 ish. Um, one of my longtime friends slash subscribers, Hazardous 5 from the UK, had, um, sent me a video of, um, and sent me videos of, um, uh, Drew McIntyre, um, from a, a wrestling promotion. I think it was. IPW, I think that's what it was, IPW, but a, a wrestling promotion that's set in the UK, um, where he went to, and uh, the main event match was between him and Sheamus, and this was also in the same match where I got to see Sheamus for the first time, but Drew McIntyre and Sheamus just absolutely tore the house down um, at this UK wrestling event, um, phenomenal match between both guys, and that was the first time I got to see Drew McIntyre, <coughs> as well as Sheamus, but... Um, Drew, and, you know, I'm like, okay, Drew McIntyre, like, this guy's pretty interesting. Um, after that, hadn't heard for a little much, um, until, like, back in 2000, like, a year and a half later, heard he got picked up by WWE. I'm like, okay, this is cool. Um, got to see some of his stuff, some footage of his stuff from, uh, Ohio, uh, Valley Wrestling. Um, from that point on, uh, Drew McIntyre came in, I think in 2000, it was 2008, um, Drew McIntyre came in, um, Drew McIntyre came in with another different type of wrestler. Um, not, not wrestler, but like a manager or something. I forgot his name. But Drew McIntyre came in with a kill, um, you know, representing his nationality. And um, he kind of like disappeared and phased off TV for a minute. Um, I don't even think his name was Drew McIntyre at that time. But it, he was gone for, for a while. Um, and then probably like back in the summer of 2008, he came back and began making everything else. Um, just as Drew McIntyre and Vince McMahon came out and, you know, personally, you know, said, you know, I personally signed you, you know, to be a future world champion. I personally signed him. So, you know, made Drew McIntyre, you know, like little, the golden boy of Vince McMahon. And I really like this character and I like this gimmick a lot from Drew McIntyre because, okay, we've always had a lot of wrestlers like, you know, Triple H, The Rock, even, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin himself, you know, allied themselves with Vince McMahon. But none of them can actually say that they've been, like, chosen, you know, uh, by Vince, you know. And I think that's one thing that's kind of made Drew McIntyre a little bit different, you know, in the line himself with McMahon in that aspect compared to the other wrestlers. Um, so I really enjoyed that, you know, the chosen one gimmick and how he was personally signed by Vince McMahon and, you know, <coughs> Vince guaranteed a future world champion in him. Um, I, love, I thought that was a great gimmick. Um... From then on, Drew McIntyre was just—he was on a—he was on a roll. He won the Intercontinental Championship in late 2009 TLC. Um, from then on, he had an okay run with the with the IC belt. Um, from then on, he had feuds with guys like uh, something was what was one of his biggest feuds? his biggest feud was was with uh, John Morrison. 
uh, from John Morrison to um, you know, a little quick and thing with Kane. Um, Matt Hardy was probably like his last big rivalry, um, which I really didn't particularly care for. Um, once this thing with uh, um, Matt Hardy, you know, sizzled out and Matt left, uh, Drew McIntyre kind of started to get lost in the shuffle a little bit, started to lose quite a bit. Um, and then after a while, they slapped him and Cody Rhodes together as a tag team. They became the tag team champions, um, which was, in my opinion, just uneventful. This is the point, you know, because him and, not Coffee Kingston, him and Cody Rhodes, he and Cody Rhodes, um, together as a tag team, didn't mix that well, um, and they didn't even have the tag team title belt, so I don't think they had it for like a month or something like that, uh, Drew and Cody had the belts for a month, you know, they didn't have any type of chemistry, they didn't show these guys, you know, they have these guys together in the backstage interview, like, you know, yeah, we formed the tag team, so, yeah, um, so after that, um, the tag team broke up, uh, you know, Cody Rhodes went his way, McIntyre went his, McIntyre was drafted to Raw, um, so then hadn't heard or seen anything from Drew McIntyre, um, Drew McIntyre was married to former WWE diva, um, Tiffany. Um, they now have a divorce. after being married for a year. Um, so I don't know if that also, too, might have something to do with his long hiatus, you know, from television. Because literally during the entire year of 2010 and even 11, for the past two years, Drew McIntyre has not been on TV whatsoever. Um, I heard he against some dark matches. You know, he was doing some good stuff there. Um, he had quite a few matches in SCW. So, um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the kid. Um, actually, not just recently, this past Friday night, because Randy Gordon and some other top SmackDown talents are injured, um, they've now put Drew McIntyre back on SmackDown. So, um, interesting to see where this will go with Drew McIntyre. Um, I think Drew McIntyre is a, a hell of a talent. He's he's a talent I think they should be using and should be on TV uh, compared to some of the other guys that they're using, like a David Otonga, et cetera. Um, you know, I just think that, you know, if, if they would have kept Drew McIntyre on TV, um, you know, during 2010 and 2011, Drew McIntyre would be at a much bigger spot right now in 2012. Drew McIntyre probably would be a world champion right now. He probably would be at the position of Dolph Ziggler or uh, Wade Barrett or even Sheamus. You know, he'd probably be at that position right now if they just kept the guy on TV for the last two years, you know, just build him up. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, um, you know, he's, he's back on television now, you know, because of the whole SmackDown uh, roster is kind of lacking a little bit. So hopefully they'll get him back to a good run. Um, I don't know if they're going to start with the Chosen One gimmick again. Absolutely love that gimmick. I hope they started off with it, but it looks like they might not. Um, Drew, T Drew McIntyre, I think that's a really good look. He's a good wrestler. Not bad on the mic. He could improve. Um even um, Roddy Roddy Piper himself said that he would love to get in and work with um, and work with Drew McIntyre and be his manager. And since uh, Roddy Roddy Piper is somewhat, I guess you could say, back with the WWE, you know, when he did the the uh, the Piper's Pit with John Cena uh, a few months a few months ago, and then he was on that SmackDown event, live event. Um, so since he's somewhat back, hopefully he's in talks with, you know, the higher-ups in WWE, because I think that would be an awesome thing to have Roddy Roddy Piper, one of the best talkers slash heels of all time, to work with Drew McIntyre and help get Drew McIntyre over. I think that would just be an awesome combination there. So, uh, crush fingers, guys, for having, uh, 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 Roddy Roddy Piper be Drew McIntyre's manager and help get Drew McIntyre over. So, yeah, this is just my inside look on uh, Drew McIntyre, um, the chosen one. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Drew McIntyre. Do you guys like him, don't like him? Um, do you think, uh, you think he can recover and come back or not? Uh, what do you guys think of the possibility of, uh, well, not the possibility, but, you know, of um, Roddy Piper working with Drew McIntyre? Um, I hope it comes, I hope it does happen. Um, hope the higher is supposed to, uh, his opinion on this. So let me know your comments on this video. Call me and subscribe. Peace.